The Betrayal in Friendship, The Butch Pratt Story. Butch Pratt and Edward Swiger became fast friends and fraternity brothers while studying together at Thiel College. Unfortunately, the two also got involved with a few illegal activities along the way. The pair worked together at a furniture store owned by Linda Carlin, Swiger's girlfriend, who was 15 years his senior. In an insurance scam, Swiger had helped Carlin burn down the store for a sizable payout. Pratt and Swiger also robbed their own fraternity during a school break, stealing and selling the stereo and other electronic equipment that they had taken. Butch had a solid moral foundation and had just lost his way according to accounts. He had been an amazing high school athlete and was known for his kind and caring demeanor, even being awarded the Good Humanitarian Award by his classmates. When he was arrested for the fraternity robbery, Swiger was reportedly nervous and unsure how much Pratt would reveal to investigators, including information about the arson. He began formulating a plan to keep his former best friend silent. Enlisting the help of two mutual female friends and his brother Michael, Edward Swiger wanted to get Pratt alone. He had the two female friends invite Pratt out for a visit with the promise of a party, then drive him into the woods trick him into getting out of the car and driving away, leaving him stranded. However, it is unclear how much Edward's accomplices really knew about his true intentions. Once he had Butch alone, Edward reportedly attacked him. Michael Swiger later recalled seeing his brother punch Pratt, then bang his head repeatedly into a pipe before jumping up and down on his chest while laughing. Michael has talked about being horrified by his brother's actions but helped him load Pratt's body into the trunk of the car, shocked and believing him to be dead. Michael would describe the next 16 months prior to the discovery of the murder as the worst of his life. The brothers were eventually arrested when Carlin, while being investigated for an unrelated arson, fingered her then ex-boyfriend to authorities, leading them to Pratt's body in the process. Edward Swiger was sentenced to life in prison for his role in the 1988 slaying of his one-time best friend. His brother Michael served almost 20 years behind bars, with his high school sweetheart remaining faithful the whole time. Linda Carlin served 15 years for her role in the murder of the promising young man who was taken much too young 